I personally think that good design comes from people who let their minds wander. You can't lock yourself inside a box. You can't have this narrow vision of what design has to be. That's why I love, you know, when I'm working with clients and when John is working with clients, we love to hear anything and everything that they have always loved. You know, they'll point out things that they've seen, you know, in a commercial space or when they were traveling. That's where we get our inspiration as well, anywhere we go. But at the end of the day, if you can take those elements that they love and find a way to make that work together, then that's going to be the perfect design for that person. We want everyone to dream big. I mean, that's an important part of design to let your, let your creativity grow. And then from there, we'll look at all the things you're asking for and then we can narrow it down to what would be best in the space for your budget. You also have to think function. I mean, that's where Jonathan and I always start. When designing a place, you can't just think of the aesthetic appeal. You always have to think of how it's gonna function for the family first. And then from there, we start to incorporate all those beautiful elements that you want. Jonathan, he's one of the best designers I know because literally every day I work with him and I see what he puts into every design. I see how he really listens to a family and what's important to them and finds ways to really transform a space into their dream home, their forever home. A lot of people don't think that they could have what they've always dreamed of and to be able to find a way to do that, that's a good designer.